Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Today we're going to be making a progressive house or electro house picturized lead using FM8 and we're going to upload a link to the patch where you can download the patch uh, just in case you try to recreate it, it doesn't turn out quite how we've got it in this tutorial, you can download that patch straight away. So let's have a look at this FM8 here, also I've got a bit of processing on this synth, I'm going to come back to that later and I'm also going to talk through how I just kind of put this kick drum together as well. So. Let's turn off the processing on FM8 for now and create a new sound and create this picturized lead. So let's head straight to the operator section first. And I'm not going to use a filter for this sound. I'm going to use four of the operators. So operators C, D, E, and F. Operator F are going to have a sawtooth waveform and keep the ratio at one. Key sync it as well. And let's use operator E to feed into F here at 38. And root E into itself as well at 22. And keep it as a sine wave ratio of 1 and just key sync it again for a nice consistent tone. And now let's look at operator D. Root this to the output at full volume. F can go at full volume as well. And D, we're going to have a sawtooth wave, key sync it, but take the ratio down by one octave, so 0.5. It's a bit more kind of lower tone in there, and root this into F as well. About, about 9 or 10 or 11, and root D into itself, 21. And now operator C, root into D. Uh, 24 and also root into F at the same volume 24 and let's change operator C to 1.5 on the ratio and a 1 plus 2 plus 3 saw key synced so got quite a nice kind of general tone together there let's move to this master section now not a lot we need to do here just increase this digital there to about 83 so we've got a nice bit of bit crush on the sound and let's move to this envelope section now and rather than me remake this envelope and, and kind of tweak it around and stuff like that I actually saved the envelope that I used here so tempo sync operator F and because it took quite a while to to create this envelope but with this tempo sync now and also link operator D to this envelope so they've both, we've both got the same envelopes basically F and D and make sure D is tempo synced We've got this nice envelope that's kind of tempo locked. If I load up the kick drum as well. So, like I say, you can download this patch. There was a link at the start of the tutorial to just download this patch. So, you can just download it exactly as it is with this envelope kind of tweaked like that. So, uh, operator F and operator E and operator C envelopes. We can link these and just drag out the release a little bit. Okay, with that set up, now let's move to the pitch because this is where we're going to get that kind of pitch rise happening on the sound, which has become quite a popular sort of lead sound of a lot of sort of progressive electro house recently. So I'm going to tempo sync this pitch envelope. I'm going to kind of zoom out and I'm going to loop this pitch over two bars and drag this end point here to the two. and. Check the motor fix now, and the start point can start at the very start of the envelope there. So created a, and take the zero level to zero at the start there. We created this two bar kind of pitch envelope loop here, and I'm going to just pull up now. So we've got this pitch rise happening. And take the envelope amount up to about 50 so we get a more pronounced effect happening here so you could push this right up for a more kind of extreme effect but 
I think around 50 is okay. Okay, with that set up, now let's move to the effects section. I'm going to add some overdrive. Push that tone right up. And also going to add a show of an EQ. Just boost some tops. So that's our sound set up. I've also got some processing on here. So I've got an isotope ozone imager that's spreading out the kind of mid and high frequency sound. Adding a nice bit of whip. I've got this Valhalla Vintage Verb that I've probably got way too much reverb on here, but it's a great reverb effect kind of reverb, really. I noticed a lot of those lead sounds do have quite a lot of reverb on them, so i uh, got the Vintage Verb on there, and also Fabfilt of Saturn distorting it. And then I created this loop. I also created this kind of heavily distorted 808 kick drum. So we've got this kick sample here with a nice bit of transient to it. And you can see I've kind of rolled off some of the bottom end. And what I've done, I've used this Nefetom, which is an 808 emulation. And it's just got a really nice 808 kick drum on it. So if I mute that processing for now, Nice boomy 808 kick drum. And what I've done is I've used the channel EQ to take away some of that kind of click and pop and transient because I've got that on the other kick drum. Uh, so I've done a kind of high frequency roll off there and I've also distorted the hell out of it with this Fab Filter Saturn. So it's providing the bass in the track now as well. So that combined with the other kick drum and the lead sound. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. And also get yourself over to our website, fmhtutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on there featuring Native Instruments FM8. And also, if you want to go and just download the patch directly from this tutorial, there's links at the start of the tutorial. So just download the patch from the FM8 website. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.